The world is always richer than we can ever imagine, so you have to do the experiment to find out what new thing is out there. I was somebody who liked tinkering around with things, you know, when I was really little I played with Lego and then I actually remember when after I went off to university every time I would come home my parents would have a whole list of things that needed to be fixed and I would go around the house and <laughs> fixing things. I wanted to do physics that was kind of tabletop physics, so something where, you know, I could really be involved in the experiment and not you know, there weren't a thousand people working on some particle accelerator and I was just one of them. I was interested in, in finding a new place to live. Part of it was looking for an opportunity to really do something different scientifically. And there's not a lot of research, as a um, kind of research that I'm doing in Australia. And so being able to come to a place that has very good support for basic research, but isn't necessarily doing the kinds of things that I'm doing, that's, that's kind of attractive. We're working on things that will be part of the technology 20, 30 years from now. We don't know, some of them may not, <laughs> but, uh, but I think the payoff is, is that some of them really can be very important. We're really setting up. So I've, uh, I've, we've moved some equipment from the laboratories I had set up at, at Maryland here, and I'll show you what we're, we're doing, but a lot of it you have to kind of imagine. <laughs> So we're working on two-dimensional materials, materials that are atomically thin um, layers. So one, of the, one example is graphene, which is an atomically thin sheet of carbon. In our research, we're making the materials that we're working on, and we're studying their properties in a number of ways. And so we're, we're studying electronic properties, we're studying optical properties, and we're also modifying the materials. So these materials, because they're just one atom thick, and all the interesting electronic things are going on in this layer that's, that's just at the surface of the material, it's also important to have a very clean surface and that allows us to modify that surface, change the properties of the material and understand how the material works in that way. And experimental physics is a lot of, you know, have to do a lot of things that aren't physics uh, and, uh, and, and be happy, you know, spending your time doing some electronics and some computer programming and some, you know, different things. And there's a, there's some, line that you have to cut between knowing exactly what you're going to do and and being able to go chase down the new and interesting thing that comes along so um, part of that's part of my job is to <laughs> uh, try to steer the students in the right direction you're at the, the the forefront of human understanding of sort of the fundamentals of reality and so you get to go to work and then make incremental contributions to that understanding and what more could you want to do? There are many, many papers that, that have come out from our group that have essentially two authors and one student and me. We can be at the cutting edge but one student can build the piece of apparatus they're going to do an experiment with, grow the material that they're going to do the experiment with, take the data, uh, analyze the data, write the paper, Somehow what we're doing here relates to general relativity, relates to high energy physics, right? It's just we don't know how it relates yet. That's sort of the big mystery. We know it's all connected. We're, we just don't know how to make that connection. How is it that you can fund just fun creativity in some sense. It does seem to be important to give people the freedom to work on things where the outcome isn't known or where the application isn't known. And the, this field that I'm working in is, is pretty fast-paced and competitive. There are a lot of good people working in it and every time I, you know, have the luck to get to something first, I'm, I just, you know, feel <laughs> lucky. <laughs>